The underlying principle of the inspired learning model is actually creating a safe environment where uh, the learner is, is listened to and honored for their successes. So one of the things that we practice is an active listening process. And the purpose of that is to truly listen to the speaker and it gives the speaker the opportunity to be heard without fear of criticism or being uh, interrupted. And this comes in especially helpful with tutoring activities. Is lots of times people will come in and talk to their learner and ask them questions, but not necessarily hear what they're having to say. So you'll see an example of what it's actually like to use this process by giving your full attention to the speaker without interrupting and listening for information that's not in words and for body language and expressions that you can give feedback without actually interrupting the person. Lulu, I'd like for you to think about something that you're passionate about learning more about and share that with me and why. Something that I'm really passionate to learn more about is how to improve my writing skills in English because I want to be able to express myself by writing skills. Um, I want to be able to write letters. You remember I have been writing uh, letters and participating in the Writer to Writer contest around the libraries in California. And I have been one of the finalists, mm -hmm. but uh, I want to be one of the winners. Uh, so writing these letters, I think I, I can make it. And also I want to be able to write emails because I am a member of the advisory board mm -hmm. in the program. And sometimes they send me emails and I don't know how to answer them. And I want to be able to answer those emails and also, I, as a part of my job, I want to be able to write reports and messages to my boss so I can communicate with my, my co-workers and my boss in my job. And I want to be able to write um, news articles for the newsletter mm -hmm. in the program. Because sometimes I ask my, somebody to help me writing those articles. And I want to feel totally independent writing those letters and those articles. And also sometimes I want to help my children and their homeworks and school. And I, I really want to be able to do this and to communicate with people by writing. And I'm practicing and I'm working on it and I think I will make it. Great. Yeah, um, listening to you speak about wanting to be able to write better, I could really hear the excitement and that you're already doing a lot of wonderful things by being involved on the advisory board and participating in the Writer to Writer. And I could hear the enthusiasm and how important it is with you to be able to be more independent and feel confident in doing that in a way that you really want to express yourself. And I know that you're going to do it because your passion is there. And when I heard you say you wanted to be one of the finalists, it's like, yes, yes. So I know that you'll be able to accomplish whatever, whatever you want to do and look forward to seeing what you're going to do with your writing skills. Thanks. You're welcome. And now, Sheila, uh, why you don't tell me about something that you want to learn more about it and why? Okay. Um, one of the things I'd like to learn more about is creating positive and fun learning environments for, um, for anybody using the Inspired Learning Model. And I've been involved in literacy for about 20 years and I notice a lot of people who come in to get help with their literacy skills have experienced negative learning ex experiences, um, they've been made fun of, they just don't feel that comfortable with showing up and asking for what they want. So I was introduced to the Inspired Learning Model mm, six years ago 
And I just fell in love with the philosophy and the guidelines that are used to create a safe, positive, focused environment. And one of the, th I've, I've noticed many positive results, and some of those are people who are involved in the program who are very shy and lack confidence in speaking up, are now mentoring other learners, they're participating in other activities, they're, you know, um, taking leadership classes, and they're, they're really making some big differences in their life. One other person is, who had very little educational background and very little support from her family um, is now being tutored. And she takes her grandkids to Families for Literacy, so she's very active with her grandchildren and their educational process. And she's driving and feeling independent and able to, you know, she believes she can make her dreams come true. That's really exciting. Tutors are feeling better about their learners showing up and being equal partners. I think learners are finding their voice and, and showing up and, and able to take more responsibility for their learning process. So I'm very excited about this and I'd like to share more information with other people who are interested. Wow. That what I hear from you is that you have a lot of experience with this um, method that you want to work on. And I see you are really interested in help people to learn. And also, I noticed that you have a lot of experience working with this program. And I think uh, on your experience that you have, you're going to be successful working with these people. And also, I notice on your body language that you are ready. You are mm -hmm. happy to work with people and help them to be successful. Thank you. Wow, it felt really good to have you listen to what I have to say and, and give me positive feedback and, and, and to acknowledge me that I'm already using a lot of the um, principles with the model. And it, it felt good. I oftentimes don't have that experience of having someone pay attention and make eye contact. So thank you. That felt really good to have you pay full attention to me. You're welcome. And I'm curious, what was it like for you? What did it feel like for you to have me listen to you? Well, it, it is a wonderful experience that somebody listened to you because I have bad experiences in the past when I was talking to somebody, they don't pay attention, they don't listen, and it feels so bad. It feels like uh, you were talking with yourself. And this time, you were paying attention, you were interested in what I was talking, and it feels really good. I think you were fully present when I was talking. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow, thank you. So what was it like as the listener when you were listening to me speak? Was that easy or? When you were speaking, mm -hmm. I was trying to talk about you were saying, what you were saying, but um, I just hold for a while and wait until you finish. And I think it's going to take time for me to practice listening to somebody and show respect for that person. And it feels good. I think you did an excellent job. Uh, one of the things I noticed as far as listening there, I wanted to jump in and, and ask questions and know more. And that was kind of hard. It was hard to just hold back and wait for you to finish. but. Uh, I also was able to focus more on your expressions and other things that were going on instead of talking. So it did help me be more present. Thanks. Thank you.